Um, nothing here, but there are there are two levels to this. Also, the game lagged a little bit there. It's odd. Uh, is it? There it is. There it is. That is the door. Go away, sir, so I can break into this old house, which was used who knows when because it's all shuttered up. I mean, it's a pretty nice house, and I guess I guess the key to this house kind of means we have the deed, so we now own this. There's a rope. There's a uh. Up, uh, 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 I can't think of the name. Uh, an angle there. Um, there's obviously a chest. I see the chest. There's the backpack that the adventure had. Looks like it has a wand or a paintbrush on it. Interesting. But also, there's the elephant in the room, or the chest in the room, which contains doodly doo. The bird it warbles, tweet. The bug it cries, cheap. The frog ribbit, the dog gruff. C goats and c goats and cars bleats. All things sing, you see. To live is to make music. My words, could it be? I've said something poetic. Could it truly be? And you are. I'm Piccolo. Your footsteps sang to me, clop clop, and over again. But those sounds are not even not your everything. You're all your essence. Nope. I'll show you why. The mel melodious pixel named Piccolo joined your group. If you use Piccolo, different music will play depending on which character you use. With some secret power sprinkled in. Use me to hear sound that matches your character. Piccolo Colo! The beat of your spirit, I'll find it and play it for you. So if we use Piccolo, who's actually a girl, but I... I thought the Piccolo voice would work. Uh, they're... There's music that plays, and apparently it's unique per character? Oh, man. Yeah, it is. Now, what this does, according to my guide, it's actually like the first time I've used a guide in this Let's Play, is uh, it cures status ailments, which I guess could be useful with all the curses floating around. So, I mean, it's sort of useful. Apparently it also changes the, the sound. Yeah, there it is. The sound effects that play when we uh, do stuff. So when we jump, it plays the classic Mario Bros. sound effect. And... Oh yeah, cool! When we use our fire, it makes the the Mario Bros. fire sound. Uh, does it do anything else? Oh, I, I'm playing Bowser. Peach? Um, nothing there. Still the same sound. What's the, the music, though? Aww. It's, it's really happy, and very peachy. Okay. Um, I guess that's, I guess that's neat. We'll probably use Piccolo at some point. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get to the actual episode. Once again, this feels a little bit weird because I've, I just recorded 16 minutes of, of material, and now I'm, I'm starting the episode, but, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome to Super Paper Mario. Last time. Let's see, what did we do? Oh yeah, we explored, uh, we explored flip side slash flop side, and as the video description said, we got to know it's back alleys and dark, dank corners a little bit better. This time, we're going to be going through the true blue door, matching one of my favorite colors in the, the rainbow. Under the looming shadow of the void, the world slowly drifted towards demise, but not all hope was lost, two pure hearts had yet to be found. Could our daring heroes find them, or was the world doomed to be devoured? Mario, Peach, and Bowser ventured through the next door to find out. Welcome to Dragon Ball, I mean Chapter 641, <laughs> Summer Guy Showdown. Also, have I ever mentioned that that's what that was a reference to? <laughs> I don't think I did, I just was like, hey dog. This is a weird voice that I use in, in these weird intros. But it, I mean, it, it fits. It feels very Dragon Ball-esque. This also feels very Dragon Ball-esque with all, with the, the cool wall. It has a nice gradient going to it. Look at that. <laughs> with, <laughs> definitely Dragon Ball, with a giant <laughs> beam <laughs> void destruction monster, edel, d uh, subspace thing going on here. The void, it's enormous here, much bigger than it is in flop si flip side. This dimension must be very close to destruction. We'd better hurry, we have a pure heart to find. Alright. 
Let's let's go. Man, this place looks cool. To Samer King's uh, King Samer's palace. This place is so cool. I love it. Now, uh, I think I mentioned it in the the prelude to this episode, but I should not act like you saw that first or saw it at all because it is completely optional. But I actually have recorded this episode before, but due to some microphone issues, it didn't work out. So. Yeah, I, I kind of know what's going to happen, which is regrettable. It's very unfortunate, but it, it happens from time to time. I yield! Oh, uh, okay. Hello, bearded man. I am shamed! Ah, so you run, coward! You disgrace your family's honor! Another unworthy opponent! When will this hero of legend appear? Time is running out and still he refuses to show his face. You stop now! You wear the clothes of a crazy! You must be if you mean to challenge me! Bwahaha! Ch challenger All I have to do is sit on you and I can wear you like a hat! Aha! So it begins, Challenger! I am known as Jade Blooper, guardian of the first gate. Prepare for game over! Hwa! cha Uh... We're fighting? Okay. Cool. Let's let's fight, I guess, and I'm gonna use fire on this guy and use the patented Bowser carry combo. There we go. And end his game! Or not. You know what? Just just burn, please. No more, I beg you! Your power is great, challenger! Your skills are impressive. So the hero of legend has finally revealed himself. You may go to the next gate. What next gate? What is going on here? Oh, splendid! Oh ho, what a performance! And what exotic garb you drape yourself in, Challenger! Bowser's face is so stunned. I mean, he has, he has no idea what's going on. What a rousing spectacle of martial artistry! I don't know who you think you are, but I got a rousing spectacle, spectacle for your face! Insolence! Show respect, dog! You stand before King Samur, ruler of the Samur guys. Your unusual fighting style brings me amusement to no end. As reward for your victory, I shall allow a glimpse of my treasure. Behold! Hey, or <clears throat> hey, you got one of those pure heart things? Indeed, it is the pride of the kingdom. If you desire it, prove your worth by defeating my loyal vassals in a tournament. A showdown? Oh, is there going to be a steel cage? In our kingdom, there is a legend that has been passed down through the generations. When a great hole appears in the sky, the world will soon be devoured. The tempest in the sky grows larger by the day. It must be stopped. But the legend goes on, and so I shall continue a very dramatic reading. Ahem. Only one thing can stop the void. The great hero must be given the pure heart. Vassals to me! Uh, okay. They're going to kill us all at once. Got it. Haja! Hail, Samur! Hunt 100 strong! These are my vassals. Should you defeat them all, you will prove you are the true hero. Yes, I shall reward you with a pure heart if you best my other 99 Samur guys. Be gone, Samur guys, and move to your tournament positions. Haja! We're 100 strong! Though 99 now, because our buddy's face was beaten in. I'm sure I'll be on the edge of my throne throughout this thrilling tournament. I will await your arrival at the palace. The tournament has begun. Let skill decide. Alright, now... Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, the king will give us a pure heart if we beat the other 99 Samur guys. You better get started. You have a lot of fighting to do. Now, uh, even though I have recorded this episode before so I know it's going to happen, and thus some of my reactions won't be uh, pure to form, I, ha I do have the recording, and while it sounds a little bit different because of microphone peaks, I still will be saving some of the best, uh, the, <laughs> the best voices and situations and putting them into the episodes as substitutes. So I can do that, and then that way uh, you're still getting my honest reaction to the game. It'll just sound a little bit different. I see you! Look upon Hill with Eyes, Keeper of the Second Gate. You run along the earth attacking immobile blocks, and I see you. 
You leap above the deep pits, dodge and wander in beasts, and I watch you. Soon you'll be fought. You will fall in battle by my merciless hands, and I laugh at you. Round two, fight. Now another thing I was doing in this recording, fire, is uh, I was I was challenging myself to use a different voice each match. So I'm going to be adhering to that. Ow, right in the eye. You did not wither beneath my cold and flinching stare, and so I am defeated. But defeat and victory are equally meaningless to one such as I. I will remain in the distance, waiting without remorse and always watching. I am old man Watch It's youngest son. I'm a disappointment to him because I wear a funny hat. Did he wear a hat? I don't. I actually don't know if I if he wore a hat. Okay, let's let's continue on. What else is in store? An opponent blows in. My name floats like an ill wind, for I am Puffing Fist, guardian of the third gate. I send the mightiest opponent to his doom with a single strike. Pwang. Round three, fight. I'm also- Oh, he jumps. He, he, he knows how to jump. Also, what? Okay. No, it is you who has dealt the Pwangin. I have failed the ancient Pwang traditions. My strikes lack puff. I must go and train at the Cloud Temple. I will use my remaining vacation days. Goodbye, dear sir. So while I go through here, even though I'm about to be interrupted by another Samurai guy, I would like to talk about a, a comment that I actually saw, and it was... I assume it's someone from uh, Steven Plays, because he mentioned how I kind of felt like a Steven Plays ripoff, and I'm about to address that after uh, after I, I fight this man. <clears throat> Soon, Challenger, you will scream in terror at the name of the Flightless Bird, for I am Squatting Birdo, ever hunkering guardian of the Fourth Gate. Now you will know the fury of the most deadly fighting squile. <laughs> squile. Birdo Squat. Round four, fight. Now, uh, oh, snap. My stratagem's not working. But burn burn okay I got his ninja because they summon ninjas so I, I didn't really think about this but a lot of my viewership is well they're they're from other channels mainly Steven plays squawk the egg of my defeat burns hot on my face I bow to your skill Birdo be with you challenger yeah I I, I, I thought about it before but I, I never really addressed it. A lot of my viewership is from Steven Plays, not because I'm asking, uh, I'm posting comments on other people's channels asking for viewers, but simply because I comment on his channel and people are like, "Who is this guy?" and they click on my videos and some of them end up subscribing. So, a lot of my viewership is from Steven Plays, which so it would make sense that they would recognize that I kind of take his channel as a little bit of inspiration. <clears throat> Tell me, Challenger, have you ever tried to catch a jumping fish with your bare hands? You will know the frustration soon, for I am Leaping Cheap, keeper of the fifth gate. The Cheap Cheap soars in the air and strikes its prey with like a fishy tsunami. And so I too shall be fried like a fish. So, I mean, it, it makes sense that the channel I watch the most, I would have a little bit of influence, and my commentary would be a little bit... Uh, I, I touched upon by by uh, Steven Plays, but I, I just would like to know, li like to tell you guys, I stutter, uh, your skill is strong. If only my flying fishy friends had left to my aids when I claw called out for them. But uh, if, you, if you're if you from Steven Plays and you're on my channel and looking at my videos and, well, first of all, welcome, but second of all, uh, it, it'll make sense that my channel draws inspiration, but don't let that detract because I play different games from Steven Plays and I do have a different style. It just you kind of have to you have to stick with me for a little bit before you see it. But yes, I do draw a little bit of inspiration from Stephen Plays or Chugga Conroy or Masayanella or what have you. Just don't let that uh, detract from your experience. Before we fight, consider this haiku: A challenger comes under the darkening sky. Wiggity, <laughs> wiggle. Master Wiggler wiggles in defense of the sixth gate. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Okay, whatever. Please burn. Uh, or not. Okay. 
Uh, well, I guess, I guess we're to that point where I should actually switch up my strategies because in the failed recording, I found... I, I kept getting frustrated because I was trump jumping on these people with carry and they would throw out a hitbox, I would get hit, and the carry was actually being rather useful. So I was like, let's try another uh, pixel here, shall we? So I decided, you know what, let's... Let's give Barry a time to shine, because Barry is a sun, and I found out something cool about Barry, and that is he gives us invulnerability frames, right? We got. He gives us invulnerability frames, which means if we jump on someone, they'll they'll just naturally throw out a hitbox, but our invulnerability will dodge the hitbox. The Barry hitbox will hit them, dealing like four damage or something. And then we will jump on their heads, dealing however many damage that Bowser deals. It's a really good strategy for enemies that throw out hitboxes when you're trying to attack them, when carry would not uh, cut through their defenses. So, Bowser Barry is actually pretty viable. Before you leave, contemplate this haiku. The challenger comes. Now my face wiggles in pain. Wiggle? <laughs> wiggle. Wig. Wiggle on, warrior. Wiggle on. So yeah, I I'm going to be trying out Bowser Berry because it it worked rather well. So I'm going to be trying that out. So now we have ba Bowser Carry Berry or uh, Carry Bowser Berry, baby. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is, but it's it's fun and it works. Stompow. I am sure of Kurabo. I do protect the seventh gate. Stompow. Some tried to tiptoe past me like fancy little slippers. I stomped them, stomp how. Shoe stomp all, stomp how. Shoe of cruel ball will tread on you, stomp how. Round seven, fight. Okay, so Bowser Berry, it works really well because in, in a jam, I can just press the one button or I can just jump on his face and it works. Stomp how. Stomp how, I am stomped. You crush out my stomp how. You boot you, stomp how. <laughs> Truer words were never spoken. Now the drawback to this strategy, if you could call it a strategy, I guess I'm just using a pixel as he's meant to be used, uh, is that, I mean, I'm slow as nails, because nails are very slow. Have you, have you ever seen a nail move? No? Then don't ridicule me. Nails are slow, okay? You fry now! I am guy who fry, master of dripping magna punch, <laughs> guard of the eighth gate. I see your eyes burning with a purpose. Will I torture you today? Or will your burning desire to win extinguish me? I say you fry now. I'm from the south, we fry everything. I'm gonna start out with fire, because that works against a lot of opponents. Also, ninjas will periodically come in and uh, blow us up, because they pull a real Majora's Mask there. Also, Bowser Berry, baby. Bowser Berry carries us. It is I who fry today. I'm like a sad pail of discarded grease. Go on and fry Samur guys in memory of Guy Fry. Because I'm Southern. I'm a Southern ninja. All those redneck ninjas you hear about in the news, I'm one of them. <laughs> that actually reminds me of a video. It's actually pretty hilarious. Uh, it's about the KKK, which you're asking, how could that be hilarious? I'll tell you in just a second. Yeezy! Got a shrill streak of the screaming mantis. I paralyzed you get nine. You are motionless with fear. Now I pray on your face, Berserk. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a video. It was like a uh, Louise. No, it was Mississippi. It was like Mississippi versus the KKK or something. Hee zeke Screaming man, just throw ghost horse. Screaming man, just requires a Los Ange. As will I if I continue using these voices. But yeah, uh, it, I don't remember what the case was, but it was it was actually kind of hilarious because. Uh, the the defendant who was the KKK uh, was they uh, they made a, a very empty threat. They said, uh, "If you think that the KKK is dead, you should just go to the ma backwoods of Mississippi, and you'll see what's up." And it was very ironic because if you're going to the backwoods of Mississippi, you're just gonna find, I'm assuming, drug dealers, and they're just trying to sound menacing by saying. If you go to the backwoods where sketchy people are, you'll find sketchy things, and that was his threat. Which I guess is a good thing, considering how how uh, little racism is a thing today. Um, and you come at last, like a young gloom poking through an early spring snow. I am called Koopa in winter. I wage a mobile by the tent gate. The plant that blooms early freezes and perishes, and so too shall you. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that racism isn't a thing. I just found it very funny. No, 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 no. I found it very funny that uh, that it was such a very it was an empty threat. Oh boy. Hoya! Ha ha! Barry, Carrie, Bowser, baby, works every time. No, 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 no. The cold sun of winter has set upon my soul. It has made you bloom this day, but beware. The ice and snow know no allegiance. They will consume you too. Okay, let's continue on. Because that guy is real big and fat. <laughs> and Bowser's fatter. He... What was that? What was that, uh... What was that one pixel? It was, uh, Thudley. Was it Hefty Points that he was talking about? And, like, Bowser won, but I think Peach would actually win if you use Peach. I, I had someone tell me about that. Ahem. <clears throat> the eleventh gate, a place of power. And here you will find footsteps of coins. Tell me, warrior, do you walk with your eyes open? Do you see many coins? Coins and blocks, coins and clouds, everywhere there are coins glittering. It is I who leave them. It is I who wander the wide world. Coins falling from my heels. Does this mean others should pick up my coins? Of course not. The coins are mine alone. And now I shall make change out of you. Cha-ching! That's a pun. <laughs> yes, it is. You're right. I will burn. No. I will burn you with the power of fire. Not the coins. I'm broke. Okay. My wealth was in my battle skills and you have robbed me of them. My poverty of spirit is now matched by my poverty in my empty pockets. I'm poverty-ish. I, I don't know. And now I'm faced with no, alone from mother. She will frown upon me. I would rather sell my weapons. I have no clue what that accent is, but it doesn't matter because he's he's dead. We killed him. Okay, let's let's continue on. By going through the store and seeing what other horrors await us. Also, you can I found out you can edge cancel Barry. How do you how do you do that? I don't know, but we'll find out. So you challenge your skill in the duel Oh wait, he needs a different voice. Um and so you challenge your skill in the duel of one hundred. I am the guardian of the twelfth gate, Urchin Long. Haha. <laughs> so you must be wondering how many more of those guys must I fa fight? Fool! There are 88 more of us. Does your resolve falter? Do you have what it takes? It is a relentless marathon of martial artistry. Now come at me. All right, start with our strategy of fire. Did not work. This is one of the fast ones. So let's, no, no, no. I, Bowser Berry actually failed there, but it didn't. It, it still worked. A cramp, I yield. Ha ha ha. So you're not a slacker after all, fresh challenger. You may have the stamina to defeat us all, or maybe we'll get a side ache. Okay, bye. Let's edge cancel this on the way. It didn't work. Whatever. It's it's fine. I don't need to know the frame data of Barry. I'm I should be good. I have uh let's see, how many healing items do I have? I have two. Okay, maybe this will be a little bit more difficult than I thought. But as long as I'm vigilant, I'll I should be fine. Kaka Kaka! I will feast on the delicious flavor of your defeat. I am Crow Who Eats, Guardian of the 13th Gate. I will make many meals from your shame, Koka. Round 13, fight. Okay. Oi! No. No. Oi! Got him. Oh, he shoots things. But I... Wait, what? Barry reflects projectiles? What? Okay, that's good to know. Koka, Koka, Koka. Cruel irony. Now it is I who must eat crow. Also, I feel like my voices are ramping together. I need to I need to be careful about that. That's not a good thing. Let's go through this door. Now, in case you're wondering, this episode will not be like three hours long. Um, if it reaches time, I will cut it there. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not above doing that. But I, I I still want to I want to run this episode out to its entirety instead of just cutting everything out because there is a crowd that likes to see this stuff and there's another crowd that I mean. They they can skip this if they want if they want to. It's not it's not their uh, I, <laughs> I it's not their preference. That's what I was gonna say. I almost said it's not their hunk of flavor, and that's <laughs> it's not a term. Hello, Hui Fing. I am Swollen Tongue, Master of the Fourteenth Gate. Feel me. You will not gas. Wait, I mean gwass. 
I mean pass. Oh, who cares? Let us fight. Gua. Round 14, fight. Okay, fire. Good. And there we go. He's gone. Guab, I have been hit. Or feared. I mean hit. I wish I was more feared. All right, he's out of the way. So, had enough, have you? Bye now, I mean bye. I am Swollen Tong. I am accidentally racist. All right, through this door. And I guess this actually means that we're gonna be doing um three Pit of 100 Trials type things because there I'm pretty sure there is a Flopside Pit of 100 Trials and we're gonna be doing both of them, I think. Unless there's some reason not to. The, f uh, the foe you face next is Slipping gri Grip. Fearless Guardian of the 15th Gate. I am a new student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. But I recently passed my Slapatology exam with the highest marks. Now it is you who reap the benefits of my industrious note-taking. For I have a mustache that should be pink. Oh, ow. Okay, let's... Come on, pal. Come on. You, you're better than this. Jump on him. There we go. You can do that better than this, pal. Grip slipping. I bring shame upon the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. But you will be no match for my brothers. Their palms wield the, for the fury of the winds. For I have a mustache. Okay. Um, you know what? You know, I'm going to take one more damage before using healing on him. Because I, I want to optimize this in case this lasts much longer. And I, I am actually not sure how much longer it's going to last. Now, even even though I did record this episode already, it's been a little while and I didn't memorize it. I didn't count the, the gates here. <clears throat> so you have defeated my brother. I am the second most famous student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. You will, no, you will have no doubt seen me in the Academy newsletter. I am Clammy Hand. Guarding the 16th gate is my senior project. I will not fail. Round 16, fight. Okay, start with fire, Bowser. And kill him. There we go. The world grows clammy. So clammy. Do not think this is done. You must face my other brother next. He got detention for studying the forbidden wicked palm of a thousand sweats. Okay, I, I guess he's... <laughs> he's just He just bragged that his brother is sweaty. I'm not sure... I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, I mean, Bowser feels pretty good because he's at... He's at almost full health, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's, let's go meet this sweaty man so I can draw conclusions and judge him. And apply labels to his friends and family. Because that's, that's how society works today. I am... Uh, he needs a voice. Uh, he needs a voice. He needs... Oh, yeah. Um, I am Forbidden Slap, former top student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. But I was expelled for learning forbidden slapping techniques from dark tomes. Now I wield history's most feared and reviled sword slaps. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Man. Let's jump on you. And jump. Nope, no, no. Just use Barry to get some space. Use Barry to get some space. And punish his jump. Nice. The forbidden slap yields. <laughs> you have defeated the three star pupils of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. Brother. Brother, are you hurt? Slipping grip, clammy hand. Why are you here? Why have you left your gates? We were worried about you. Brother, return to the academy. They will take you back. Yes, let us return to the academy and earn an advanced sweaty palm belt. Perhaps they will forgive my selfish quest for dark, s for dark slapping power. As for you, you may pass. You have beaten us. Now go on and shame the rest like you have shamed us. May the martial arts spirits grant you luck. Onward to glory. Bye, I guess. Okay, there was like a whole little mini story in there for those who who developed a three second attachment to these characters. They're like, oh man, we need some more character development. Who will we do? Oh, I got it. We'll just introduce Larry, Barry, and Carrie and, and just have them develop over the next two two minutes. Come closer. I'm just a harmless leaf on the trimmed lawn of the 18th gate. Hachi! Now I am Harry Arantula in the grass. 
I leap on your head and bite your earlobe. Hot cheese. <laughs> Suddenly, Paladin turned into a weeb. Sup, bro? Okay. Uh, okay. I'm a little bit afraid to lose the, the to not use this fire. Okay, three, two, one, up. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Did he just run into my fire? <laughs> okay. He's like, oh man, he he closed his mouth. Oh wait, there's fire. That's the sound that <laughs> that midgets make when they're being killed. Your earlobe, it is like iron. I skitter away. I I developed a little bit of an Irish accent there, laddie. Okay, let's go through here. Oh boy, the voices are too much. The voice will have to be an individual memorable moment. If I ever do those things, also speaking of me copying Stephen plays, I mean, they obviously wouldn't be called memorable moments, but, uh... Um, Stoic and impregnable. Another castle stands vigil of the 19th gate. Many challengers attempt to lay siege on me. All leave in tears. They're very emotional people. When they see me cry, they cry too. Tie yourself all you like, pummeling my abdomen. I won't fail. <laughs> oh, no, oh no, fire. Okay, uh, okay, I'm done. But I, I, I don't know. I, I've gotten a couple of requests. Oh, cool, wow, I can, I can be invincible while styling? Really? That's neat. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I've actually gotten a couple of requests for having a, a memorable moments type series, and uh, basically, if you don't know, I, you just leave comments on videos with a timestamp on them, uh, telling like uh, your your favorite moment, and I would take that episode, re-download it because I delete old Let's Plays off my computer, uh, cut it down, and release that moment as its own video. Well done, but your prize is your prize is another castle. Ha <laughs> ha. Man, it seems like you'd live a lonely life because, I mean, those other brothers were like, "Hey, bro, why, why'd you leave your post?" So which means that they can't leave, so they just live here. I mean, it's pretty, but it's, it's not optimal. Smush! The rolling thwomp. There is one thing in life: rolling. A squish. I roll over you and make you flat like sheet of paper. Round twenty. Fight. Ow. You dirty dog, die in a fire. Ah, more ninjas. Why'd it have to be ninjas? Uh, I mean, I guess ninjas can't beat fire, but ninjas, man. They're, they're everywhere. Bjorg! Why do you not squish like uh, for rolling thwomp? Rolling and squishing, not the same as it was. You go now, I have lost passion for squish. I am Slavic. I have Slavic power. Also, some of these voices just write themselves. Just like the story is doing right now. So are we dead? Or is it just belching? Is the void just belching? The void is growing larger. We have to hurry. It looks like it's just belching or, or not. Okay. Hurry? Why not pause and savor the show? Who's talking? Is it Slavic man? Is it? No, it's not Slavic Man. It's Black himself. Wow. It is already too late to stop, Count Black. Who? Uh, who's talking, actually? Oh, who's the cre creepy ca clown with the cape? Count Black. 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 The prophecy unfolds smoothly thanks to the Chaos Heart. The light of each world will be snuffed out one by one. Why would you want to do something so unspeakable? You question, Count Black? This worthless world destruction matters not. Far better for Count Black to wipe it out of existence than let it remain. How can you say that? That's, that's horrible. Count Black scoffs at you. An insignificant pixel lectures Count Black on what is right and wrong. This is not for up for discussion. You're wrong and sick. All living things have a heart. They're all priceless. You can't just erase them. Of all things, you defend the heart. Nothing could be more worthless. All things are meaningless. Aside from Timpani, no treasure mattered in the least to me. T Timpani? Speak no more. 
This world is dying under the monocled bla glaze of Count Black. But don't let that stop you from trying to find the pure heart you will never acquire. Blah, <laughs> Black. Oh dear. World goes squish now. Must go, must tell King Sammer. Must not accidentally squish King again. Bye, goodbye, Slovak man. I'm incredibly slow. My goodness, I'm slow without Carrie. Carrie, I loved you when you were a thing. But Barry's, Barry's good now. It, as long as I'm still fighting people. I mean, if I'm not fighting people, do I not fight people? The guardian of the 21st gate, Simus in heart, savory fury. I am thrashing prawn. You will never pierce my briny husk. I will flail mercilessly at your face with tiny arms. Oh, this isn't a good time. If you are the hero we have w waited for, you should hurry along to the treasure. I, Thrashing Prawn, must swallow my anger and allow you to pass. Okay, it looks like we're not going... Why am I switching to Peach? Why did I switch to Peach? It looks like I will switch to Carrie. Yeah, Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Welcome back, old love. You could never replace that... Or you... Barry could never replace you. I almost said it backwards, which would have been very mean. You could never replace Barry, Carrie. Barry's better than Carrie. You get it, Carrie, Barry? No? Okay, fine. Okay, let's let's just continue on. There are a lot of doors to go through. We're not gonna have to go through all 80 of these, are we? We better not. I will, I will eat a napkin if we have to. Why a napkin? I don't know. It was the first thing that popped in my mind. Um, I guess I could talk to everyone. Oh, let's talk to him. I am useless badge. Living life without utility enrages me. I may exist only for novelty, but that won't stop me from attacking you with futility. But for now, I will let you pass. So, are we going to be fighting these guys later? Because it kind of feels weird that they'd waste all of... All of these reused assets. <laughs> or, no, really, like... All these cool characters, like this guy. Foulness! I am Sunshine Flood, the shining beacon that exposes your filthy filth. I will mop the stage with your filthy clothes. But, now is not the time. We'll meet again, but you must go and find the king. That's... odd, okay. Oh, hey, it's the end of the chapter. Interesting, so I guess they're just going to to cut out all the rooms? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Super Paper Mario Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Play Super Paper Mario. See you guys then. End of chapter! Also, I forgot about that. Uh, I'm used to, uh, to Earthbound, where level ups don't heal you. But level ups in this game completely heal you. So hopefully I get one more throughout this. So you come at last, like a young bloom poking through an early spring snow. I am called Koopa in winter. I wait immobile by the tenth gate. The plant that blooms early freezes and perishes, so too, so, and so I too shall you. I am the stuttering rapper. Oh, wait, got him. Whoa, I got him. Let's jump on this. Got him. Okay, I took like what, four damage? That's fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, these voices are too, too, uh, too much. The cold sun of winter has set upon my soul. It has made you bloom this day, but beware the ice and snow. No, no allegiance. They will consume you too. <laughs> okay. Bye. Oh boy. Oh boy. Jump on. Is there any way to get past that without getting hit? I'm actually not sure because the AI, you know, it knows. The world grows clammy, so clammy. I mean, like, he knows how to read fire, except in the first part of the match where he's unable to move that fast. But otherwise, I can't really jump. Oh, wait, no, I, I think I know what I could do. Uh, do not think this is done. You must face my other brother next. He got detention for studying the forbidden wicked palm of a thousand squats. Uh, could I use... Could I use Barry and just jump on top of them? I think... I think I could. Let's try it. Let, let, let's try Barry. Let's give him a shot. 
I mean, he's not a happy person. He's he's frowning. But who knows? Maybe he can do work. Let's see. I'm thinking that in the first part of the fight, I can I can use fire like I normally do. But after that, I can just jump on top of them and then use berry. Okay, there's another one. I have Forbidden Slap, former top student of the Sweaty Palm Martial Arts Academy. But I was expelled for learning forbidden slapping techniques from Dark Tomes. Now I wield history's most feared and reviled sword slaps. Round 17, fight. Okay, let's flame him. Oh. Good. Did that actually hurt him, though? Whoa, it did. Wow. That worked so well. Uh, what happened was Barry hit him, right, for four damage while he was swinging, and then Bowser hit him. Oh, that's good. Yeah, ow. 